Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I wanted to do a very quick video talking about a easy, uh, quick, and most importantly cheap way to uh, quote unquote laminate a document. <laughs> um, now what I mean by that is I've got a document here so I'm planning on going cross country skiing uh, tomorrow so I printed out some of the like a, just a trail map of the area and now as you can probably imagine you don't want to take this eight and a half by eleven piece of paper out cross country skiing where I'm going to shove it in my pocket or in might get wet. Um, so one of the natural things that you might think is, well, why don't I just go ahead and uh, protect this like with a laminator? <laughs> so you definitely can do that, right? But uh, it's a little bit expensive. You got to go get the laminator, you got to go get the, the sleeves, and then the documents are, they're, they're not the easiest thing to fold up and maybe be able to shove in your pocket, right? So how else could you do this? Um, I've seen people use, you know, Ziploc bags and they open up these gallon Ziploc bags, they shove their map or their document in it and this is a this is a halfway reasonable way to go I've done this before in the past but it's just not very elegant it's not very clean it's not um, uh, it, it's basically suboptimal okay so what I want to do today is look at a better super easy way to do this and it's really darn simple you need like two things you need some packing tape and you need some scissors so uh, let me show you what I do with them all right, so you've got your document here. Let me show you. This is all we're going to do. We're literally just going to take packing tape and we're going to just place it on top and cover this entire thing with packing tape, both the front and the back. Now, that actually brings up a good point. You know, for example, this document here, it's only one sided. I've got nothing on the back. So it is a little bit of a waste to kind of laminate this whole front and then this whole empty back. So, one quick trick to, to save yourself some time as well as some packing tape is take your document right and just fold it in half half something like this right now both sides have information you want and this is a lot easier to laminate it goes a lot quicker right so all we're gonna do is just basically slap your document down and then just start getting yourself strips of packing tape and all you're gonna do is just very carefully lay this down now one thing that I have noticed is that sometimes when you pull this packing tape out um, it's got a little bit of static electricity and if you have a smaller document like like a business card or something like that as you bring this tape closer to it it has a tendency to suck up the document um, so you just have to be a little bit careful of how you place this strip so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place this down over the document with a little bit of overhang on both sides or a little bit of overlap so in this case, there's, a, there's quite a bit um, on either side, so I didn't plan that very well. So I'm just going to press down lightly. I'm not going to shove this thing down um, because all we're going to want to do is just continue this process. Okay, and now with this last strip here, I'm actually gonna overlap uh, quite a bit on the top edge, right? So both edges, there's basically overlap everywhere. So now that I've got this thing pretty good what I'm gonna do is let's peel this thing up okay and then all we're gonna do is just flip this over okay and do a similar process and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the packing tape that I had from the other side and I'm just gonna fold it down okay on all of the edges like such whoops that one kind of overlapped that's okay okay you go all right and now let's just repeat okay so there we've got it now let's go ahead and pick this guy up and all you got to do now is just trim off the edges and I'm gonna leave a little bit of packing tape around all of the edges so I'm not gonna trim it all the way down to the paper because I want some of this packing tape around every single side to seal it up so let's just trim all the sides off And again, these other two edges, you probably don't even have to trim because I folded them over. So they're already a nice clean seal. So 
there you have it. We've got this nice laminated, uh, you know, again, quote unquote, laminated document. Um, look at that, it's really beautiful. You can't actually really tell that it was just done by packing tape. And again, I didn't do this the most clean. You can kind of see here, there's a couple of little creases in uh, the document here because I wasn't super careful. But if you are careful, you can really uh, minimize that and you can get something that looks quite nice. So tell you what, um, let's go ahead and actually uh, compare this. Let's go take this uh, laminated version of the map and a unlaminated version of the map and let's go ahead and maybe throw them both in the shower and see they hold see how they hold up all right so let's go ahead and simulate taking these maps out in like uh, in the rain for example uh, to simulate that I've got the shower so let's just turn the shower on and uh, la dee da let's pretend I take both of these and I'm out in the rain and uh, we're seeing how these things hold up and okay now let's pretend we're done, I'll turn off the rain, and let's see how they did. So, <laughs> I think the, the results are pretty clear. Look at this, this laminated version using the, the, our cheap little DIY version is, is totally still readable, look at this. Like, in fact, if I just shake this off, yeah, look at that. Pretty much nothing. I can't see any water damage to this at all. It's still perfectly readable um, and, and to perfectly usable. Now, now this is, <laughs> as you probably expect, you take a piece of paper, you you are out in the rain, and look at this. It's it's starting to bleed. It's uh, oops, ooh, look at that. It's tearing. This is this is not. Oh, there we go. See. It, this would not survive, obviously. So this is pretty darn helpful and useful. And, and let me show you another thing that's really kind of cool about the, the laminated version. Um, it's very easy to still fold. So for example, if this is too big for your pocket or wherever you're, you're taking your map, you know, just fold this a couple of times and it pretty much folds like a piece of paper. Right, but the the fact that you've covered it in the packing tape actually protects it quite a bit. So, for example, you can fold this up nice and small and tight, and and throw this in your pocket, walk around for a little bit, and then you can unfold it and. You can see it, the, the creasing, normally when you're folding paper, you know, especially cheap printed paper, you know, some of the stuff is going to start, um, you're going to start not being able to read things on the creases, but this actually works quite well and preserves the document very nicely. Okay, so I just got back from uh, the cross country ski day and let's see how the map held up. And as you can see, it's looking pretty darn great. This thing was folded up multiple times, tucked into my pocket through about, you know, um, eight miles of the trail all day. And now uh, I take it out and it looks pretty much as good as new, um, very durable. In fact, I can now save this map for uh, future usage so I don't have to keep printing out a new map every time I go out. In fact, that's what I now do with pretty much all of my maps is I use this really cheap, easy DIY laminator method using just packing tape um, to basically make myself, you know, quasi uh, permanent maps that are still foldable like paper and easy to use. So with that being said, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if so, I also hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. Surprisingly, if you just scroll a little ways down and click on that subscribe button, it really does help me continue making these videos. And speaking of the new videos, remember uh, a new one comes out every Monday. So I hope I'll see you at one of these future discussions and we can all learn something new together. So uh, until I talk to you again, I think I'll sign off for now. Talk to you later. Bye.